So hi everyone, uh, we are going to take a video of Ion being machining and myself Amal Thomas and my teammate Vinayak PV has prepared this video. So these are the contents we are going through. Uh, we initially discuss about the definition, then we go through the classification, after that we discuss about the working principle, then we tell about the application, we finally we conclude with the advantages and disadvantages. So definition of IBM, IBM is simply means ion beam machining, it's generally a surface finishing process in which the material removed take place by uh, spattering of ions. Uh, it means that uh, one surface we have materials in the remove and we use the technology and we help the ions in the help of the ions uh, to complete the ions. So this process is uh, etching process, polishing, ion polishing process, ion etching process. So this is a different process from electric discharge, electron beam, laser beam and plasma arc machining. So basically these are classified into two large area ion beam machining technology. Simply we call it as LIBM. So these allow the materials to be etched or otherwise altered by propelling charged ions in a vacuum, high vacuum system. So next one is focused ion beam machining technology. Simply we call it as FIBM. It's typically, typically include a scanning electron microscope in a configuration where lenses for both ions and electrons enable precise machining through spattering, milling or deposition process, structural metrology through the scanning electron microscope and extra analysis. So, ion beam uh, machining and a cool focus in the just classification to the months like which uh, So, coming to the working principle, uh, this process is very simple and it consists of bombarding the work with the accelerated ions which collide with the surface atoms of the work and uh, each bombarding ions as a result of collision dislodges surface layer. So, we uh, working principle of figure load similar to months like That means uh, the kind of common artillery figure and from this figure we can easily understand that uh, namak common at uh, use in the electron nu parana tungsten electrode aanu adey pole enna namak ivittu inert gas undu adu nammal argon common cases um argon thane irikku edukkunnathu so argon adhe ee inert gas um electrodes um thammil collide cheyidittu namak argon ions aayittu povugey adu oru vacuum chamber lode poyittu oru Workplace work one um, incident is AMM. Our end actually this ion beam machining work out on the other. Either the ions, collision body on the argon ions, each chamber could a poet number of workplace in the surface even the touch him boiler. Our momentum transmitting, energy transmitting, our energy use at the surface lola materials in a remove. So, your figure is okay. We have a cathode. We have a common use in a tungsten electrode. And the other one is intermediate electrode. Onde, anode aperture. Onde, or extracted anode. Onde, controlling electrode. Onde. So, your first portion is the main item. Um, argon gas. Onde. So, argon gas is the side of the side. So, this gas is the tungsten electrode. This gas is the collide. Onde. Uh, yeah, anode aperture or chemical reaction like some working under. So, either finally, um, or uh, ion beam I eat, Namaka table to fit say they can a workplace or turn on the transmit another. So, your second portion, that is the bottom of the full portion, portion on uh, actually vacuum chamber and number working chamber and number another. Even number vacuum provide another pump over the area. Other people and number three, even an incident or another number third touch another. Uh, we have contact uh, electrostatic lenses like use it under help or anything correct at the gate either the table one another but so equipment is out of so next I am going to talk about the equipment used here then first comes the uh, ion source ion source is used to produce an ion beam of CO2 intensity then the heated tungsten filament it, it acts as a cathode and it accelerates electrons and, uh, and here uh, voltage about 1 kilowatt is used then the uh, extra intermediate electrode is, is used for increasing electron emission and then anode is used which accelerates or attracts the electrons then the magnetic field produced between the cathode and the anode makes the electrons spiral this interact with the organ atoms in the plasma source to produce the ions the produced ions are extracted from the plasma and directed towards the work Piece. Then the electrostatic lens or controlling electrons are used to guide the ion beam. Then the atoms will be dislodged due to transfer of kinetic energy of the ions and the thermal effect has no role to play in here. The workpiece surface is masked wherever no material removal is intended. 
മെറ്റീരിയൽ റിമൂവൽ ഒക്കേഴ്സ് ഓൺലി അറ്റ് അൺമാസ്ക്ഡ് സർഫസ് ദ വർക്ക് പീസ് ഈസ് മൗഡർ ഓൺ എ വാട്ടർ കോൾഡ് ടേബിൾ വാക്വം പമ്പ് ഈസ് യൂസ് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് ഹൈ വാക്വം ഇൻ ദി അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് മൈക്രോ ഓർ നാനോ ഫാബ്രിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് കോമ്പോണൻസ് ലൈക്ക് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ മെമ്മറീസ് ഫിഗറിംഗ് ഒപ്റ്റിക്കൽ സർഫസസ് എക്സെട്രാ ദി ഫാബ്രിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫൈൻ വയർ ഡൈസ് ഇൻ റിഫാക്ടറി മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദി സ്മൂത്തനിങ് ഓഫ് ലേസർ മിറേഴ്സ് ദെൻ ഇൻ ദി പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ക്ലോസ്ലി പാക്ക്ഡ് ടെക്സ്റ്റേഡ് കോൺസ് ഇൻ കോപ്പർ നിക്കൽ സ്റ്റെയിൻലെസ് സ്റ്റീൽ ഗോൾഡ് ആൻഡ് സിൽവർ ദെൻ ഇൻ ദി റിമൂവൽ ഓഫ് സർഫസ് ഓക്സൈഡ് ലയേഴ്സ് ബൈ യൂസിങ് ഹയർ അയൺ എനർജീസ് ആൻഡ് ആറ്റോമിക്കലി ക്ലീൻ സർഫസസ് യൂസ് ഇൻ അഡക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഗോൾഡ് ഫിലിംസ് ടു സിൽക്കൺ ആൻഡ് അലൂമിനിയം ഓക്സൈഡ് സബ്സ്ട്രേറ്റ്സ് so coming to the advantages of ibm almost any material can be machined that is one of the main advantage then the, there is no chemical reagent or agents required and there is no residue and resolution is only limited by that of the mask and also there is no undercutting as in chemical etching and etching rate are easily controllable so now come to the disadvantages uh, it's relatively expensive that is considered to be the most uh, important disadvantage then slow etching rate and thermal or radiation damage may occur in some cases so by that we conclude thank you